does God give us a choice? Why does God give us a choice? And the truth is, I don't know. Because if I was God, I wouldn't give you no choices. You wouldn't have a choice. Do what I say to do or else. <laughs> Listen, the Bible clearly it shows in the Bible, he gave Adam and Eve a choice. In the Garden of Eden, when it all began, when God created the heavens and the earth, he created all the animals, he created Adam and Eve. He told Adam, hey, uh, rule the world, do these things for me, and you can have everything you see in the Garden of Eden except that one tree. One thing Adam couldn't have. He was told not to eat from the tree of knowledge, good and evil. But just like us, if your parents tell you can have everything except one thing, what do you want? The one thing. Well, Adam and Eve sinned. Adam, or Eve took the fruit, gave it to Adam, and they sinned, and sinned into the world, right? And at that point, you see, God gave them a choice. And you, and like this question, why did God give us choices? I really don't know. I can guess that God didn't want robots. God wanted people to worship him willingly. God wanted people to follow him willingly and not simply be robots. He gave us a choice. And sometimes we don't do that well with those choices. And we can look back and blame Adam and Eve. Oh, if they wouldn't have did it, or we wouldn't be in this mess. Well, guess what? One of us probably would have did it too. Because none of us are perfect. We all have sinned. And we all fall short of the glory of God. And I don't know why God gave us a choice. I, you know, I don't think the Bible really teaches that or shares that. But we see that God did give us a choice. God gave us a choice and we have a choice. We can reject him or receive him. And there's benefits to receiving him, to following him, obeying him. And there's consequences when you don't. And so why did God give us a choice? I don't know, but he did. And my responsibility is to do the best with the choice I have. He's given us something called, what we call free will. We have choices to make. And we need to make those choices to honor God because we were created by God and for God. Therefore, we should live for God. So why did God give us a choice? I don't know. He's smarter than I am. He did. And God is running everything he wants. As a matter of fact, the Bible says our God is in heaven. He does whatever he pleases. God chose to give us a choice. And my response is to say thank you and make the best choices I can make to live for God.